In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to replicate your most valuable customers on Facebook. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Turbo TV, your favorite internet show for everything growth and marketing related. I'm your host, Dominic Malzone, founder and CEO of useturbo.com. And today is episode number six. Today we're gonna to be talking about creating lookalike audiences that include LTV. I'm gonna explain what custom audiences are, what lookalikes are, and what the hell LTV is. So let's get into it. The first things first, custom audiences are a list of your customers. If you don't know, uh, go check it out on the blog or on the website somewhere. Um, you should know what that is. A lookalike audience is taking a custom audience and saying, hey Facebook, these are my customers, go find me more. It works really well. But recently, as of about a week ago, Facebook is rolling out a new feature creating a lookalike audience with LTV. Now what the hell is LTV? No, it's not just a swagging acronym that people are using in the value. It's an acronym that stands for lifetime value. And essentially, it's the value of that customer across the entire width of their relationship with your business. It's highly measured in SaaS, e-commerce, etc. Some customers just swipe and buy once, and some customers come back every month and pay again and again and again. It's important to measure LTV, especially if you're in SaaS or e-commerce. And if you aren't measuring it, you should. Let's go and take a look at how to find out if you have this feature, how to use it, and why you should use it. Let's check it out. So to find if you have this feature, it's very simple. You go into the custom audiences, you go to create a new custom audience, and once you do, you'll click on customer file and you'll either see it or you won't. This is what it looks like if you do have it. Note, most people aren't gonna have it yet. If you're a heavy ad spender or you have multiple custom audiences, uh, they may have offered it to you, they may have not. When Facebook offers new features, they oftentimes roll it out to a select few customers or select few users to see how they use it, tune the feature up, and then send it out to the masses. Uh, so if you don't have it yet, don't worry. They will release it to the masses soon. If you want to be notified when the masses do have it, I'm actually going to notify everybody. So sign up for the link on the screen, and I'll notify you guys when it rolls out to the public. Um, but let's go and check it out how to use it. So if you've created a custom audience before, you know there's multiple parameters, up to 15, that you need to include in your file. But there's one new one you need to include for the LTV, and that's the value, the value column. This is how much your customer is worth. Now you have to upload this manually, so you'll have to either go into your CRM or go into your system, your backend, whatever you guys use to find out what your customers are worth. Type that integer in without commas or dollar signs and put that into the column titled value. Now when you upload this list, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a wide range of them to make sure you tell Facebook, hey, this is a low paying customer, this is a high paying customer, and everything in between is an average. Uh, this is really important. I've read a couple different case studies that it's important to note this. So it's also important to add all the other identifiers. You can't get lazy here. You wanna make sure you include up to as many of the 15 identifiers as you can to make sure you have a high match rate, but including the value is obviously the necessity for implementing this new feature. You can see on the screen a quick example of the value column with no commas and the decimal attached if necessary. This is all assuming that you know the lifetime value of your customer. If you don't, I'm gonna save that for another topic. Uh, there's plenty of good articles on it, but I'm not exactly sure who our entire audience is, so I don't want to do it for e-commerce if you guys are mostly SaaS visitors uh, or SaaS founders. So make sure you guys keep an eye on that. Um, figure out how to calculate your LTV um, and make sure you have it properly set so then Facebook can go and accurately find people that, have, that fit a similar customer profile. So that's a quick overview of the lookalike audiences with LTV. I hope this was helpful. Very simple to set up. Pretty intuitive to understand. The trickiest part is probably calculating your LTV, but if you know that, it's smooth sailing. If you guys want to be notified when this feature gets rolled out to the masses, sign up on the link on the screen. I'll let you guys know. Drop your email, and I'll send, you an e I'll send everybody an email when it gets rolled out to the masses. But I'm super excited for this feature. It's going to be very helpful for SaaS founders especially, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode of Turbo TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs>